The function f is given by f of x is equal to the sine of 10 times x. What is the local linear approximation for f at x is equal to 0? And before we look at the local linear approximation for this specific function, let's look at it in a more general sense. So if we graph some function, which we'll call f of x, and we evaluate this function at some value x and some value a that's very close to x, we'll have two points on our graph. And a local linear approximation essentially looks at the secant line between these two points and compares it to the derivative of the function f evaluated at a. And what you can notice is that the slope of these two lines is very similar. And if you move a closer and closer to x, the secant line will better and better approximate the tangent. So we can say that the derivative of the function f evaluated at a, or essentially the slope of the tangent line, is approximately equal to the slope of the secant line. And we know that the slope of the secant line between two points is just the average rate of change of a function. Or in other words, it's f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. And with this equation, we can just solve for f of x. So f of x is approximately f of a plus the derivative of f evaluated at a times x minus a. And we just have to use this formula for our function f of x is equal to the sine of 10 times x when x is at a value of 0. So in other words, 0 is essentially our a value in this formula. So we can say that f of x is approximately the function evaluated at 0, and the sine of 0 is 0, so this would just be 0, plus the derivative of the function evaluated at 0 times x minus 0, or just x. So we need to figure out the derivative of this function, and we'll use the chain rule for this. So the derivative of the outside, or the sine function, is just the cosine, and the inside stays the same. And the derivative of this inside function is just 10. So we'll multiply this whole thing by 10. And so if we evaluate the derivative at an x value of 0, the cosine of 0 is just 1. So we have 1 times 10, which is 10. So now our formula for f of x becomes f prime of 0, which we know is 10, times x. So what we found is that for x values very close to 0, that this function here behaves the same way as the line 10 times x.